What's good? We out here with another fucking video. We got another joint. It's your boy, Brody Beers, Lit Boy 420, whatever the fuck you want to call me. And uh, we're going to talk about my day. We're going to smoke a little weed and we're going to have some good eats, all right? So we got some good stuff, we got some good eats, and we got some good stories. And that's going to make this all around a good ass time. Let's get it, boys. Alright, so before we start that, we're gonna do a little bit of fucking preparation on some meals, alright? We're gonna get some shit going. So we got some potatoes, got some salt, and we got this bowl right here. Let me show you what we finna do. So let's get this shit fucking started. So to start off, you're gonna want some salt. Take this motherfucker, you're gonna want a bowl. Take this motherfucker, we're gonna, we're gonna drizzle that shit all up in there, right? You're gonna get a good amount. And we want to get a little salt crust kind of going on the bottom of that. We're going to add a little bit of water. Not a lot. Like, not even a cup or two, really. I don't know how much fucking water is what. I don't, I'm not using a measuring cup, okay? Fuck all that. Look, we got a little bit of water up in here, okay? And then we're going to take the salt and we're going to create a last little layer on top. You see that? And there's a reason. There's a reason for everything. There's a reason for everything. And don't you fucking forget that. Trust me, it's clean. We're gonna take this potato over here. We got little fucking baby potatoes. I don't even know what's up with these. If it's gonna be like, like I don't know if it's gonna cook properly. We're probably gonna have to check on this bitch a little early. But we gonna fucking we gonna we gonna cook it up. I right? we gonna cook it up. So we gonna poke little holes in this. We're gonna get some more salt too, cause you know, gotta keep the the the, the, the differences proportional. Or whatever the fuck. And we, yeah, we're just really getting that all on there. We're really trying to get it in because it's going to cause some, some fun shit. So we got one. Fuck, we're putting it on the plate. We're going to do three of these little holes because they. Okay, we're going to do two because I got a nice little, little bigger one right here. Hopefully, I'm not fucking starving later. I'm going to have to make a follow up fucking video. Let y'all know how this went. No, because you're going to see it in this. You're going to see it in this. Now, we'll, 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 do, we'll do this here. We'll do this here. All right. All right. So, I'm going to see you guys in just a minute. We're going to preheat that shit. We're going to put them hoes in for 45 minutes. We're going to go smoke a joint. We're going to come back. We're going to see how it is. We're going to have a good little evening tonight, boys. What's up? We back. We ready. All right, that shit got another like 25 minutes on it. It's probably not gonna be done after that 25 minutes. The other, I usually do bigger potatoes, like much bigger. They take about an hour or something like that. But um, we're gonna smoke this bitch and we're gonna, uh, we're gonna see what's up. Well, hopefully I'm gonna take my time. We're gonna make this, you know, worthwhile. So that way by the time I'm done with this, we can get some good food up in us. Cause I'm hungry, bro. I'm gonna be honest. I started recording cause I was hungry, dog. I was like, you know what? I'm going to make me a video. I'm going to make me some food. We're going to get at it. <clears throat> so, shit. What are we going to talk about? What are we going to talk about? I had a job interview today. And probably the richest place I ever fucking seen. People say people say they got white privilege, right? But I was up in this place. There was all kinds of races, right? Blacks, Mexicans, gay people. And there was a lot of gay people there. Gay people be rich. We talk about how, like, white, straight white men are oppressing, but... Y'all ain't been around some wealth. Them niggas be gay. But, uh, that sounded like shit. But, uh, yeah, I had a job interview at, like, this clubhouse in this gated-ass community. I have to go through a security gate. It's a whole fucking thing. But, shit, they pay good. I fuck with it. And, um, let me think. Let me think. The cats are a little better. You know, I took them to the vet on uh in the last video but this is two days after that because that was recorded on halloween i guess this is this is a day after that because i recorded that on halloween and i uploaded it today but this might not get uploaded until tomorrow most likely because there's a lot more editing there's a bunch more clips this video is a little more a little more some you know but uh yeah shit uh you know what i got a good story i'm gonna tell you i'm gonna tell y'all about the first time that I ever took acid, okay? So this was way back when, a couple of years ago, like three, yeah, like three years ago. And I was 
15? Yeah, 15. And I might have been 16. I was right in between them, but. There we go. Perfect. I was about, you know, 15, 16, right, right in the middle. And um, I've been smoking weed. I popped a Xanax before. I got kicked out of school for that story for another day. Um, and I had a pretty good friend. We're going to call We're going to call her. <coughs> we're going to call her fucking Sarah, all right? And Sarah hit me up. And it's like, yo, you try to hang out tomorrow, I, but I, I'm about to steal some acid from my sister. <laughs> she left it here, like, <coughs> her sister had, like, <coughs> like, taken off or something. <laughs> Gone off <coughs> fucking somewhere, right? <coughs> so we had these two dabs of acid. <laughs> it was just two. She left them in like a drawer somewhere, and, and somehow Sarah had found her, found them, and she hits me up because we we're pretty good friends. We like to do drugs together, you know. And you know, we fucking we make a plan. So we're like, okay, you know, I think it might have been we are either dropped out or like she was dropped out, or we might we weren't at school, bro. And we weren't going. I don't know if we were supposed to be going or we were like, you know, we were allowed to not be going, but we weren't fucking going, dog. It wasn't fucking happening, right? So we fucking, we, I pull up to, she's like, hey, meet me at my mom's work. We're going to hang out. We'll drop some acid. You know, we'll go fucking walk around. Just, we don't, we haven't even dropped that. I think she had tripped. Yeah, she had tripped. But I had never tripped before, so I'm just like, yeah, fuck it, let's drop some acid. Like, because I had done a lot of research on psychedelics and shit with YouTube and stuff like that. So I kind of had an idea of what I was getting myself into. I wanted to try acid. But also, I live in, like, bumfuck Texas. Well, acid is pretty, like, popular here. <coughs> it isn't always. And <laughs> sometimes it can be really hard to find. <coughs> Especially if you're a 15-year-old has never done it so we get <coughs> we meet up <coughs> and her mom <coughs> we're chilling i'm talking to her mom i know her mom we have been friends for a little bit at this point um so i know her mom we're chatting it up i'm cool with her mom her mom doesn't really like me because she knows we're up to no good but i'm not like I, i'm less of a bad person than some of the other people she's associating with so her mom can see that as a positive And, um, so anyway, I talked to her mom, we chopping it up at the business, and then we leave. And as we're leaving, her mom says, don't smoke any weed with my daughter. <laughs> <coughs> Let me tell you something. I didn't have any plans on that, because we were broke as fuck. We didn't have no weed. These little two fucking tabs of acid was everything we had to our, our goddamn name. And so we go off to this little... Oh, I forgot to mention. She invited this other guy who was, like, our, also our friend. We kind of all hung out during the summer a lot. And then, you know, now the summer we're over. We weren't hanging, hanging out as much, but this was kind of a reunion. There are a couple other stories down the line in this kind of, like, timeline. This is kind of, like, the beginning of a lot of bad things happening. Um, at least for me. The bad shit really started earlier but it was less, like, personally impactful. This is when my life started to get fucked up. <laughs> and, um... But not, not tonight. Tonight was lit. This night was lit. Might have been why it fucked my life up. But... I, um... We're under this tunnel. And me and her haven't done a lot of acid. Other homeboy has. And this nigga's a bitch, bro. We got a whole other thing. I fought this guy now. I, I beat him up. In a Walmart parking lot, you know, and um, that's just how it is, <laughs> you know. But he's like, nah, y'all, y'all don't got tolerance like that. I got a tolerance, so give me the tap. Y'all both take half a tap. Now it's probably good I took half a tap because I ended up getting pretty fucked up off of this half a tab. But I, I, and of course I've never done it. I don't know what a fuck a half a tab gonna do to me. I'm like, all right, let's get it. Let's see what this does. All right. I had research. I had an idea that half a tab, if it was some strong acid, 
which knowing her sister it was, you know, that was probably a good dose for me. So I think, no, we might have both, like, me and the other dude might have took both to have, or in ch Chick might have took one, I don't remember. But we dropped that shit, and homie had been staying up in this motel nearby, but, like, he had already checked out. He was not supposed to be there. And we fucking, we're like, we dropped some acid, we're not really feeling it yet, so we're like, fuck it. Let's, like, let's go chill there until they kick us out. Because we're like, we're like, we're like, you know, we're fucking teenagers, we're degenerates. Getting kicked out of places is fun at that age for some stupid fucking reason. Oh, I'm gonna put that out. <coughs> we gonna finish the story time. And so, <coughs> I might even pack a ball. <coughs> But, you know what? No, no, no. We just gonna continue to start that. So, um, we go up in there and we're chilling and we're, I start to feel it a little bit. And I don't really know what I'm feeling. I'm just feeling it. And I'm, I'm just getting real giggly, real loose. You know, I know it now. But at the time, I had no clue. And so, I'm sitting there and I'm like, damn. You know, this shit, this shit's not bad. I'm having a good time. I ain't gonna lie. After this, I was like, yeah, I'm going to do that more. And y'all will see, I did a lot more acid not very long after this. But at the time, I was like, yeah, this shit is fucking lit. We're chilling, we're laughing our asses off. And then this fucking lady, it's like little, like, man, I swear to God with these cleaning ladies. They're like half Mexican, half Asian, bro. They're like the hardest working people in existence. And um, the funny thing to me is that I hope she's not working over here. The funny thing to me about that though is um uh, okay she gone she gone she gone thank the fucking lord bro so the <laughs> bro so my, so some backstory, I don't live with my, I live like, I. so look, my grandma owns this property and she has multiple buildings on it and she rents one out to my dad. And I'm, I'm, I'm a young lad, I've only been 18 for a couple months, I don't have a job right now, I'm not fired, all right? I'm not doing the best, but I'm getting my shit together, all right? And anyway, I don't live at my grandma's house, that's what I'm trying to get at. There's no shame in doing that, I did when I was a kid, right? But I don't want all the comments to be like, grown-ass nigga living at his grandma's house, nigga get a job. Like, I'm trying, bro, I, I did a job interview, I did two job interviews today, bro, a virtual and an in-person. And another one Friday. I got two more Friday. But that's besides the point. That's besides the point. The Mexican Asian lady, the Mexican Asian American, starts knocking on my door. And they start saying a bunch of shit. Because we, we basically, I think we broke into the room. I don't even remember how we did it, bro. But we just went up in there. We were not, we like were fucking with the cameras. We were doing all type of shit. And so they come over there. No, we weren't fucking with the cameras yet, but we broke into the room and the camera caught us. And the lady's like, you gotta get out of here, you're banned, don't come back. And we're like, we're tripping fucking balls. We're just like, okay, so we just leave. We don't even, like, really comprehend the consequences of our actions at this time, because we're not that, wow, would we? we're fucked up. So, we fucking come back. To the goddamn... Where did, no, we didn't come back to nowhere. We started walking to the mall, and we were calling our homegirl. We used to call her mama, bro. I'm sure y'all all, if you did drugs in high school, there was always, like, some fat white lady who had a car and would always buy everyone food. She was, like, she was a hookup, bro. Everyone fucked with her, because she would hook it up. And if you had money, I would never personally do it. But actually, the guy in this story one time sent her a dick pic when he was drunk. So, like, she is... She was a nasty bitch if you was down bad. But back when we were in high school, she would just take us places. And so we call her and we tell her the whole situation. And she says, 
They go, what the fuck? That's what she says to me, this fat ass white bitch from Cleveland, Texas. And we're sitting, we're sitting in another tunnel. We dropped acid in a little storm drain under a bridge. We're kind of like a tunnel thing. And then we went to another one. Because it was just kind of like, it was kind of just chill. We were just having, honestly, like, the this, it sounds like we this would be a terrible trip. But it was just, like, my first. Like, I, I, nothing, and none of this, like, at the time, I'm, like, 15. I don't know this other guy that well. This chick, like, none of this will, like, personally affect me. Like, I, at the end of this, I'm gonna go home. <laughs> like, I don't give a, I don't give a damn about anything. And so I, um, she comes and she picks us up. And, um, to be honest, this story has gotten a little bit long, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a part two, and it's gonna be, like, an actual, you know, finish of the story time, and maybe a sesh or something. We'll see. But, yeah. Peace out, y'all. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, and smoke a fucking bowl. That's all. Peace out, y'all. Alright, guys, so we just finished it. Done a little bit of cleanup, but that don't matter. Cause if you look right here, what you got is a meal fit for a king. Potatoes, cheap as hell. Pickles, cheap as hell. Butter, cheap as hell. Cheese, cheap as hell. Let's get it. And y'all should do the same. Eat good, you know, live life.